Hey Washington Fish Questers, Blake here. I'm down at Historic Borse Park off of Historic I-5, if you hear the cars in the background. But Fish and Wildlife a couple weeks ago did their annual Black Friday trout dump in the, in the lake. It's really more of a pond, very small pond. I want to say they put like 2,000 fish in here again, so a ton of fish, and they're decent size. So my buddy Ron, he uh, gave me this power bait. And what's special about this power bait, and please catch me in the mints, if I get it wrong, Ron, because I believe it belonged to your grandpa. Is your grandpa or your dad? I'm going to go with grandpa because that sounds cooler. At any rate, it's 30 years old. So this is 30-year-old power bait, never been used. So let's see if trout will hit 30-year-old power bait or if it has lost its effectiveness over that time. All these ducks down here think I'm going to feed them. Look at this. Look at all these cool different kinds of ducks. Alright, for my setup today, I've just got a kind of cheaper rod and reel, you know, but a lot of action on the rod. I think I got a six pound main line, a nice rock weight there. I try to try to not use lead when I can, but don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not virtual signaling you. I use a ton of lead, <laughs> but uh, I'll use a rock weight when I can, which I think power bait fishing off the bottom is a great application for that. And I got a, whoops, I got a bead stopper, and I got my swivel. I can't remember if this is three or four pound test. Going down to a size number 12 hook. All right, let's open her up. This power bait's 30 years old. Whoa! <laughs> Smell. <laughs> uh, let's see. A, I totally forgot how power bait used to smell. It used to smell way more plasticky, kinda. And I, I don't know how to describe it, but if you smelt this and you used power bait 30 years ago, you'd know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a little different. Formula's definitely changed a bit. Two, you know when you go to eat a banana, you know, and it's like it's perfect ripeness where it's all mushy and covered in black spots? Well, this is like when the banana's like solid black, so it kind of smells like it is peak banana, <laughs> if that makes sense. So that's sort of what this is like for power bait. I think sitting for 30 years. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's, some, it's some stink bait. It's, it smells power baity though, so we should see. Uh, so, power bait, I happen to know off the top of my head here, was invented in 1988 by a chemical engineer named John Proch now. And, uh, you know, it became, became popular by the early 90s nationwide, and by the mid-90s was all over the place. I think I first remember encountering it maybe around that time, maybe around 1992, 93. You know, and it kind of changed the game as far as fishing, fishing for trout goes. I'd say it's probably saved, I don't know, the lives of millions of night crawlers. The heck was that? All right, as you can see there, never been used. There was no foil stopper at the top, but uh, as you can see, there's no not been a finger in there ever. So this is quite an honor. It's more the consistency of like Jiffy peanut butter or some other kind of creamy. Oh, this might be an issue. Yeah, this is more. This really is more like a stink bait. The consistency. It's uh. Oh, jeez. Looked to myself good. All right, enough putzing around. So this really is like peanut butter. This isn't like kind of the more, I don't know how to describe it, like foamy pack bait that power bait currently is. Kind of more like silly putty now, I guess you'd say maybe. Uh, maybe that's not even right. It's kind of its own thing, I guess. But anyway, yeah, this is like trying to pack creamy peanut butter onto a mouse trap. All right. So that doesn't look too good. I don't know if it's because it's an early formula or if it's just because of the 30 years of aging. So I'm gonna get this casted down. And hopefully it stays on the hook. All right, there we go. Let's see here. I have about 45 minutes before I gotta go. Let's start the clock. Oh no, no, it's a high anxiety music, I don't like this. That's better, that's better, all right. Now I didn't cast out in the middle of the lake because although they've only been in here a couple of weeks, these are planted fish so they'll stay close to shore for a while. 
Of course, something to take into account is all the ducks. I can see the ducks on the side kind of forcing them deep. About five minutes have passed and all quiet on the western front. You know, I think I'll take a moment to talk about power bait in general because I've never done power bait on my channel. I've been around for over 10 years now. So I got nothing against power bait. There is some kind of hoity-toity, the hoity-toity set, the Bluebeards, who uh, kind of look down on people who use it because it is uh, almost like cheating, I guess, or maybe it's just because it's so easy that anybody can do it. That's probably more it. But, uh, you know, fishing's supposed to be fun, and so I say fish however you like. And if, if somebody disagrees with you, then bite them. Bite their face off. I will say I do tend to not use power bait because I maybe eat trout once a year. And to me it is something you use if you're going to retain your trout because, you know, they'll swallow it right down. And if I, you know, I'm going to try to catch and release, but if it doesn't work, then, you know, I just got to eat those fish. Well, we're about 10 minutes deep now and no action. So I'm actually going to put out a second rod. I got some power nuggets with me. I, don't, I was going to use another orange jar of power bait, but I just have the nuggets. I'm going to try a nugget, a newer nugget, and see if that attracts a bite. That'll be a good way to know if the fish just aren't biting or if they have, uh, they don't like the 30-year-old bait <laughs> that I'm using. All right, here's them nuggets. So you can see, these are way more like a marshmallow, you know? Yeah, so this this uh, new power bait that I put in, I was just walking back to tell you I cast this one. We're out in the middle of the lake thinking maybe that avian influence on the shoreline has driven them deeper. I turned my back for maybe 15 seconds and fish on instantly. So that makes me think either I got that new bait too shallow or, yeah, these are nice fish. I really like these, these uh, late fall plants. I mean, they're usually about a pound each in this lake anyway. At any rate, it might just be that that, that bait stinks, and not, and not in the good way. Come here, fish it. Woo. Hey, there we go. Took a little bit of finagling, but I got that hook out, and I think this guy's going to be just fine. I'm going to put him back here. And to be clear, I got nothing against eating trout. I just got a lot of salmon in the freezers also. I need to get through those before I get one of those, but those are definitely stalkers meant to be eaten. So, all right. So we know now that the new power bait will get them if in the middle of the lake. I'm just gonna cast. I don't wanna basically keep catching trout on the new power bait. That's sort of not the point. So we're about 20 minutes in now with the 30 year old power bait. I'm gonna put it right where I put the new power bait and see if that's the ticket. Ah, a little good news, bad news. The power bait is gone. Now, I think it's just because it's so structurally soft at this point. I don't think anything actually took it, but who knows? Oh, interesting. Interesting. So not unlike peanut butter, this last little chunk I got out is a little firmer. So it literally might have settled over the course of 30 years. Yeah, this is way better. This is way better. That's what happened. Wow, power bait settles, folks. It might take 30 years, but it does. At least the old stuff. So look at that. That's way a much better ball than before. So before I was basically trying to pack liquid <laughs> onto a hook. See if this does it. Well, they say a watch pot doesn't make steam or something like that. Watch kettle doesn't boil. Something like that. Oh. I got hammered. I was just about to say, well, I was just sitting there staring at it for five minutes. I'll come talk to you guys. That definitely was a hit, though. You saw it. You saw it. All right, I got a couple minutes left here. It's getting pretty dark. To pass the time, let's take a look at the old power bait label. That ought to bring some memories back for you, people who were fishing in the early 90s. Yeah, look at that. Biodegradable for us in orange. No website. Oh, there's the patent pending number. That's pretty cool. It wasn't patented yet. Yeah, there we go. Berkeley Outdoor Technologies Group, Spirit Lake, Iowa. I believe it's still there. Top of the lid. All right, there we go. Let's look at the modern one. There we 
we go. This is made of like a plasticky substance opposed to glass. Shout nuggets. Something I'm surprised of is I could have sworn there was a thing on this that said it was biodegradable, but I'm not seeing it. So hopefully the formula hasn't gotten worse <laughs> as far as that goes. The, the old formula, I think it was 92% biodegradable, and then 8% was whatever naturally, occur, uh, naturally occurring silicates are. Yeah, there you go. Yep, same, same place. Still same address there, Spirit Lake. There you have it. What a beauty, what a beauty. Turns out I just need to cast further into the lake. Right in the middle there. Does not take long at all. I think that one bit in about two minutes. I'm gonna get him back in the water here. So there you go. Because nobody asked, we answered the question. Will a rainbow trout hit 30 year old power bait? The answer is yes it will. I think it's a little less effective than something fresh out the bottle because it sat there for about five minutes on that one that eventually did get hit. Then that one was pretty quick. That one was like a minute. So there you go. 30 year old power bait in your cupboard from 1992 or 1993, depending on when you're watching this. Whatever. <laughs> It'll work. So thank you so much. See you next time on Washington Fish Quest. Thank you, Ron.